Hello again. See, so yeah, I just received uh, some tea today. Um, I'm gonna put that I'm gonna do a review. It's my first impression of uh, Xiao Yao's blend or XY blend. And uh, yeah, I was excited to try this one. And uh, I'm gonna break into it for the first time. I just got it today. Um, I, la I don't let my teas acclimate. So this is a first uh, impression of a tea that I have not let acclimate, so keep that in mind. Um, hmm. Smells nice. That's what she looks like. Looks like lots of different types of material. A little bit of Huang Pian in there, I think. Very nice. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna dig right in. I'm gonna do a nice, uh, a nice serving here. Uh, I'm gonna break off 12 grams and just really, uh, really enjoy my first impression. I wanna drink some tea right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and really dig in. Um, Petey, what's wrong? I'm gonna let him outside, maybe. My son's outside in the backyard playing with the, uh, the snow. He's making a snowman. Just had our first snowfall of the year. It's cold here in, uh, BC. And it's not even that cold today, it's just snowy. Generally, the snowy days are a little bit warmer. And then after it snows, it gets pretty cold. But, uh, what do I got here? Four. I'm not going to break off anymore. I got 9.78, and then... This actually might be exactly 12 grams. Okay, it's a little over 12 grams. That's not bad. I just broke off a whole bunch and then weighed it. 12.71. And uh, yeah, there we go. This is the first, uh, first big serving of tea I've had in a while. I don't want to wreck the wrapper. I like keeping the wrappers. Um, my plan is to uh, um, frame all the wrappers. You know, the stuff that has like nice art on it and stuff, right? Rinse some, some of this stuff with hot water first. I just drank other tea. And we'll rinse the tea as well. <sighs> I'm getting like, like nutty. Nutty smells and grassy smells. Yeah, that's really good. It's a nice smell. 
Um, yeah, anyways. I can tell this, this tea already looks like quite, quite thick. Since I use so much, I'm going to do quick steeps. And I will use two, just so I can uh, cool it down a little better. Yeah, so lots of bubbles, looks like very thick. Mmm. This has got a uh, taste very similar to the uh, 2019 impression. Definitely some uh, some fruitiness there. Very punchy, like a fruit, like a tropical fruit punch kind of flavor. And uh, oh, my God. Maybe that's because it's a spring tea as well. I believe it's a blend of spring teas, is it not? I'm not sure if there's any autumn in there. I don't know. Maybe that's why it tastes so similar to the 2019 spring impression. It's got like a pineapple, like a pineapple sweetness. But definitely like a nuttiness there. Some kind of like I definitely like uh, young, young, young poor. Sometimes a lot more than aged stuff. I guess it depends on the day and depends on what I'm uh, kind of uh, into. I'm gonna let that dog outside. I'm gonna try not to wreck my video this time though. Just gonna quick deposit. it. Yeah, I just had to go outside, check on my kid, and uh, uh, put the dog out. Um, yeah, I noticed that I, I took a little bit of a break, like, like maybe five minutes just talking to the kid and stuff. And uh, in that five minutes, I could really, uh, has a, this tea has a very strong uh, Huai Gan, like this returning mouth feeling sensation, like this, this pulsating tingliness that just expands in the mouth. Very electric. Uh, stronger than most teas I've tried. Definitely like a, I don't know how to even describe it, like an, elect like, a, like an electric pulsing inside my mouth, expanding. And uh, this tea is very, uh, very thick, very lubricating. Um, and also take everything what I say in a grain of salt because this is, I just received the package today. Uh, I haven't let it acclimate, I never do. Um, and uh, I will do a revisiting video on this eventually. I will with all my teas just to revisit them uh, after it's been in my storage for you know a couple of weeks at least. Um, if I ever get around to uh, finishing all the videos that I have to make because I still have like lots of tea that I haven't made videos on yet. Let's finish off this tea. And it definitely like um, the mouth sensations is up front in the mouth. It's, it's it's on the tip of my tongue, it's on the top of my tongue, and on the sides of my tongue, right on the front of my mouth. I, uh, the, the last tea I kind of drank was drinking was the Shaiguan tea, and it was all on the sides and in the back, going down the throat. 
This is very particular. I'm starting to And when I breathe in, it's very like, uh, it's like hot and cold. I don't know. It's a different sensation. This is good. Mm. Getting into it a little bit more. I'm getting a little bit more of the, the nuttiness from it that I could smell in the flavor or in the aroma. But still a, definitely a lot of, uh, that like pineapple-y, uh, uh, punchy kind of tropical flavor. Um, starting to get a little bit of uh, bitterness. And uh, I can definitely feel the warming from this. This is a this is gonna be a high energy tea. You know, I was feeling a little bit tired, a little bit under the weather today. And this is definitely uh perking me up a little bit. Now I like using two pitchers because this one has time to cool down and as this one cools down, the glass on this cools down, this tea is already cooling down, right? By the time I'm done my tea, I can do another high pour and this is already cooling down, right? So it just helps me get through the tea a little bit quicker, I think. And then, as well, when I pour my tea, I can another, do another high pour. So then I'm, I have the option, I can have, you know, two, three, three high pours to cool it down, to be able to get into it a little better. And it's still very hot on the mouth. That's one thing I don't like is burning my mouth. You know, this one I'm getting a little bit more stringency, a little bit more, uh, I guess, dryness on the mouth. While the first few steeps that I had were very juicy, very thick. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I recommend this one. What was it? It was like $68 Canadian for a 250 gram cake. Uh, it's fairly affordable for a, a high quality uh, tea like this one. Um, I say it's high quality because you know the, the taste is good and uh, definitely the sensation is good. Like the, the, especially the, the mouth feeling on this one. Um, Yeah, I'm not ready for winter. There's already about like maybe three inches of snow outside. Maybe not that much. I overestimated. Probably more like I'm gonna say like like an inch and a half of snow out there. I had to look. I could still see some of the grass poking through, but nevertheless, there's snow. There's more snow coming. We get lots of snow here, like uh, four to six feet of snow. Um, when I go up on the roof to shovel my snow, or when I go up on the roof to shovel the roof or the snow off my roof, it's uh, you know up to my waist, and uh, that's because I, I wait a couple snowfalls. But you know we do get you know sometimes even like close to ten feet of snow. Almost out of water here. 
I think this is going to be my last deep that I'll do on. Camera here. Maybe I'll cut this video a little short. Because uh, I'm definitely feeling this tea. It's very strong. Um, it's very warming. Uh, or I guess you'd call that cooling. Because it's making me sweat. So... If you're sweating, that means your body's cooling off. So it's making you cool down. Um, yeah, I like teas that, uh, you know, warm me up or whatever. Um, yeah. Now, I was planning... My la I was going to make one more order before Christmas, and I decided not to. I was going to buy some... Uh, I wanted to invest in some like hecha, uh, different types of hecha, like fujuan, um, hecha juan, and maybe some tianjian. Um, just I've never tried them. Um, I've, I've tried uh, uh, shang puar, and I've tried uh, shou puar, and uh, I've tried lots of different types of a uh, couple, couple actually only a few different types of green tea. Uh, quite a few types of oolong. And my observation is, is that I like shampoo also just for the collective purposes of it. Um, it's almost like collecting stamps for me. I don't know. That's why I never buy uh, samples. I don't like buying samples. Um, generally buy a sample. I'll, I'll, if I get like a 10 gram sample, I really don't even want to drink it because, uh, He's like, I'll get to drink it once or twice, and uh, then it's gone. And then I got to take my observations with if it was good or not from that one little sample, right? And if I brewed it wrong, or if I should have changed my brewing, I'll never know. And uh, maybe maybe it need, needed to acclimate or something. So yeah, you'll just never know a sample of the cake. I can try it right when I get right, right when it gets here. Um, it's probably gonna be different than what it's gonna taste in a couple weeks after sitting in my storage. So, um, you know, I got to keep revisiting it. I got to keep uh, changing my brewing parameters. And uh, I can hear scale in the bottom. It's like calcium, chunks of calcium. None of it got in my tea, but I'm not going to make any more. I'm just down to the bottom. But last steep, I'll steep it a little while. See, see what kind of... Uh, Bitterness I can pull out of there. Oh, hi, PD. Hi. Oh. That rambunctious little puppy. He doesn't let me even kiss my girlfriend. Come close to her. He jumps up on top of her and then it's right in between. Like, goes, does this. He does this. And he licks my face and bites my ear. He doesn't like anybody else getting any attention. And, uh, yeah, that's my PD. So that, it's good. I'm going to have some. You don't like tea? Ow, he scratches, though. We clip his nails, but it's never good enough. He still scratches, still hurts. You go down. But, uh... Yeah, I think the biggest characteristic of uh, this tea, um, it's got a, a strong, uh, strong chachi, strong uh, mouthfeel. It's very, very tingly, very expansive in the mouth, kind of cooling. It's, it's almost like electric. And it definitely comes after you haven't had a cup for a little while. That's what I noticed when I went outside for a minute. And it's very lubricating. It's a very thick, lubricating feeling in the mouth. I can find some relief. It's 
a nice big leaf in there anyways. Mmm. Nobody's here, Petey. Nobody's Anyways. Here. That's my weird dog. <laughs> Come on. No there. Actually, I, I brewed that for quite some time. It's got that nuttiness, that strong... Uh... I don't know, it's good. Minimal on the bitterness, doesn't have much uh, much bitterness there. Although the water was getting kind of cool. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do another uh, review of this one. I just want to break into it and have my first impressions on here. So uh, yeah, that's my uh, that's my first impressions of this tea. I think, I think it's good. I haven't let it acclimate or nothing, I never do. Um, I shouldn't always be so quick to leave a review. Kind of like the 2015 impression. I, I, I actually I left it in the bag and I had it in my dry storage and I, I noticed it was like very flat the first time I tried it and that was what I kind of uh, said that it was a little bit underwhelming and uh, I tried it later on and it's not underwhelming. It's very it's a very strong tea. Um, it's got everything that I like in a in a raw pour. So yeah, um, but yeah, I'm talking about the X Y blend right now. So. I'll try and just keep it on that tea. Anyways, really strong, really nice, very lubricating. And uh, if you like the 2019 uh, spring impression, you'll like this one. It's similar, but I think this one's a little bit stronger. So uh, yeah, anyways, if you like the video, then definitely uh, press the like button. And uh, yeah, if you don't like the video, then thumbs down. Or, uh, I don't know why my kid's playing with the camera, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits. Thanks for the video.